Okay, I'd like to mention how the symmetry is treated in the system. Um, you can toggle uh, between symmetric and non-symmetric mode by just uh, clicking this uh, checkbox. And if this symmetric is on, the system uh, just uh, copies the what's made on the left-hand side of the model and just uh, makes a copy on the other side. Um, but this is, it doesn't do, uh, that doesn't automatically bring the vertices at the symmetric plane uh, onto the exact, you know, uh, symmetric plane. And uh, basically, uh, it's not smart, smart enough to handle these uh, vertices on the symmetry plane, which is um, x equals zero plane. Um, and you you just uh, need to ma manually bring these vertices near the center uh, and then click the snap symmetry button and that will bring all these uh, nearby vertices onto the x equals zero plane. So that's how uh, the system handles the symmetric mode. Next, I'd like to point out how the system decides the number of quads to generate inside a new patch. Um, the system just chooses some default number of edges for the, these curves uh, making up the new patch. And there is a, a parameter uh, de de uh, determining the size of the quads generated which is controllable by holding control uh, key and then dragging with the right mouse button. You see this blue sphere changing its size and this size determines the default size of the quads generated. So if you have larger size, then you have, oops, you will have coarser, uh, you know, uh, tessellation by default. And if you set it very small, then you'll get denser quads. Uh, another system uh, parameter that uh, you might want to be aware of is uh, the segment size parameter. Um, so when you're working with uh, this kind of uh, organic uh, model shape or some kind of character, uh, you sometimes want to work with smaller features like uh, the nose, for example. And when you draw a stroke for such a small part of the character, then you start to see that the actual these strokes consist of uh, line segments. And because this part is so tiny and you zoom in so much, uh, you start to see these individual segments. And this, uh, and uh, at some point, it, it's just not enough to draw meaningful you know, geometric shape with this. So in such cases, uh, you should decrease the default size for the line segments. And uh, yeah, something like this uh, will be enough for this, uh, yeah, this part. Okay. And uh, this parameter is uh, the kind of absolute uh, size. So it's, uh, it uses the same size. Uh, it's not screen depend, uh, screen space size. So. Uh, which is also the case for the size of the quad, uh, quad size parameter. Um, so when you're working with a larger area with longer strokes, like at the top of the head, then probably you want to use a bigger uh, size length for the segment. Um, well, I guess the performance uh, will not be so uh, change will be marginal, but I don't know. You might have unnecessarily uh, large number of uh, 
little vertices and half edges in the resulting uh, XML file. Anyway, uh, so that's the parameter that you might want to be aware of.